Working for my dad as a oh my god. You're working with people who don't know what they want. Yeah. <laughs> Multiply that with oh, we don't know when we're done. <laughs> There's these red these like these trucks that the people drive around at my dad's workplace. Mm-hmm. I remember as a kid, like I sometimes my dad would bring those home because his car would be in the shop. I was like, all right, I'll take a truck home. And then like I see holes in the roof. Like, Bro, why are people so like fucking <laughs> <laughs> why are people so like rough? Like, why are they breaking everything? <laughs> and then this one time, we're on the road with a guy. He's an employee there. So he's used to this shit. Yeah. He thought he was free. Tomorrow's free. Clear. Yeah. These just think, there's these things that happen. My dad, my dad calls them pop-ups. <laughs> he just drops it on you, bro. He's like, yo, pop-up, pop-up. <laughs> 60 person. <laughs> I see this guy. <laughs> Bro, this grown man. I'm scared. The first punch hits the fucking roof of the van, nigga. I'm, oh. Bro, I'm terrified. This guy said, okay, Richie. Okay, sure. Yeah? Okay, right now? Okay, cool. Sounds good, boss. Hey, yo, you don't want to make it good. Just, 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 just. You don't want to make it good. Let's see how like, yo, fuck. Try to prepare yourself when you're trying. I'm wincing. I'm wincing as the end of the phone call approaches. Uh. <laughs>